welcome to Rural Art Connection, the place where your boredom ends and creativity begins. Today I'm coming to you in cooperation with the 21st Century Program to bring you recycled art. We are going to make recycled roses using a recycled egg carton. So you could use this for Mother's Day, you could do it for Easter, Beltane, any holiday or celebration where you would need flowers, specifically roses, but you could also make different kinds of flowers the same exact way. So I am going to be using a hot glue gun, but you can use Elmer's glue, glue dots, or any other way to glue the petals together. Now when you're using Elmer's glue or glue dots, it's gonna take a little bit longer for the pieces to adhere to each other, but that's okay. Your results will still be just as amazing as mine, if not better. So let's get started.
my flour. I'm going to take the cups from the egg carton and I've colored these ones gold. We're going to have playback of other ones that I've made that are going to be different colors. And the color is really up to you. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to color them unless you really want to. I'm going to take one of my little cups and I'm going to start curving the pieces toward each other, toward each other, okay? And I'm gonna have a pair of scissors close by just in case I need to cut it a little bit closer to the inside, which I'm going to do now. I'm just gonna nip it a little bit closer to the inside because the inside of the rose is really tight and I want it to be like and then I'm going to put a dot of glue down here in this base section to start gluing them together now if you're using hot glue please be careful not to burn yourself um, I burn myself a lot and you just hold it until they solidify, they get adhered to each other, and then you can move on. So now these next two petals, I'm going to curve them into a nice C shape. And then I'm going to bring them inwards. So you want it to kind of have a C shape. It's gonna look a little bit like a box or a square as we're gluing for this inside portion. And that's okay. Because the inside of the rose is usually like bunched up together. Okay, so hopefully you can see that okay, that it's bunched up together. This next set of petals, we're going to actually bend them backwards, okay? So you're going to start bending and moving the petals backwards. So they're laying back from the center. And then again, I'm going to nip around the center so that I have a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more flexibility in the core of my petals and then you will start to glue them on and it's gonna look a little bit like this i'm just holding it right now next cup of petals and again you're gonna make them lean backwards and when you glue it on... So this is my lid. My lid. Ha! <laughs> my center. So this is my center. So when I go to glue it on, petals so that they are opposite. So these two with this one in the center. So opposites. Once that's set up, then I'm going to start bending my flowers backwards again. Slowly, gently, carefully bending my flowers backwards. Trying not to rip or break the egg carton because it can happen. Now if it happens, you can actually come back and repaint your petals or you can leave them and then they can look distressed like they're old, antique. Kind of roses. I'm gonna put another batch of petals. So again, opposites. So you always want to be coming in for the opposite. So right here, the bottom of my rose looks a little bit empty, and same with the top. So then when I put these on, I'm gonna make sure to go opposite. Always opposite with your petals, because then it helps fill your rose. And normally you use four cups per flower. 
And so I'm pushing down, pushing down again, just to get that contact. Pushing down, pushing down. <laughs> Even with a hot glue gun, sometimes it takes a while. <laughs> okay, ah, okay, see, don't get burned, kids. <laughs> Hot glue is hot. Adults, children, whoever's is watching this, don't get burned. Okay, don't get burned. All right, so now for the last step is the leaves. Once you have your roses, now to just polish it up, leaves. The leaves can also help to fill in any gaps that you might have in your floral design. I pre-made some leaves. Mostly it's just a football shape or an eye shape. A pencil on a scrap piece of your cardboard and then you would just draw out an eye shape or a leaf shape. Now they don't have to be all the same and actually if they are all different then that's good because leaves in nature are not going to be completely the same every single time. And then you just cut them out. Then you can glue them onto your flowers. There's my hot glue. And so again I'm going to center it so that my leaf is coming out in between these two petals to fill up that spot that I think looks funky. And then I'm gonna have another one right here. Like that, I think. Yeah, that looks good to me. So then I'll have another one like right here that I'm gonna go on in a second. It might actually be this one. Or I might do three. Nope, three. Three it is. So sometimes you have to play around with it and see what looks good. And actually, it looked good to me to have these two overlapping each other and then coming out. That looks really sharp to me, so I'm going to do that instead. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe down below, and stay tuned for more videos from me and the 21st Century Program, and have a good one.